Hi everyone, Jessica here from Stitching Colours. Welcome back. And today is the 4th <laughs> of February. So today I've got a few whips to show and a few other things. So before we start, I'd like to say thank you for all the lovely comments and everything. And thank you all for coming back and watching again. I keep forgetting to say as much, but yeah. So I'm always amazed at how many people still come back and watch every video. So thank you and I hope you enjoy and see my progress for the last couple of weeks. So I have done 11,803 stitches over the last two weeks. I've had a few early and late finishes for work and, or well, I should say early starts and late finishes and a few little trips and things. So it hasn't been quite as productive as I'd like, but these things happen. So, the first piece I guess I will show for you today it is Dragon Race Into the Night and this is a Heaven and Earth Designs piece based on the artwork by Rose Khan. And you should be seeing where it was last point in time. And I have done 4,432 stitches since then and that brings me to the point that I have gotten to the top right hand corner which is very exciting and you may be able to see or may not it's hard to tell with this lighting but here we go you can see there's some fireworks there which is really cool so last you saw I think I was about here on the page before so I've gotten quite a bit done and so once I get this page finished it will be time to have another focus piece for my weekend's time which were very exciting, but I think for a few weeks it's probably going to end up being Planets Align because I am behind on where I should be if I want to get this finished by the end of the year. So, the next piece I have to show you is one that you haven't seen in a while. And so I thought I'd bring it out and do some stitching on it. And that is Mini Heart of the Storm based on the artwork by Lisa Parker, chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I got 1,553 stitches done on this, which brings it to 30% complete, which is very exciting. And you should have seen where it was at last time already by now. So this is where we're up to now. And I have just been working over on this side, filling in the sky around where the owl is. So I'm very happy with how it's coming along and it is looking spectacular. I love the way the lightning looks in the sky and how the little castle on the side is in the shadow behind the wing. It is really cool and I really want to work on it more but I need to go to Dragon Race into the night tonight today so I can get that page finished <laughs> the next piece I have to show with you today is the Pain Free Crafts 2020 stitch along based on the artwork by Stanley Morrison And this has had 1,400 stitches since you last saw it. And I've done one more letter. So you should have seen where it was last time. I have since finished the J. So 
you can see here is the J, the jackalope, next to the imp, and above it you can see the griffin and the dragon and the fawn. I'm loving how these letters are coming along, and I've gotten to the bottom on the border, so that is coming along as well. I am really enjoying working on this one when I get to it. It's just a matter of doing all of the fractionals and working out where each letter starts because they don't match up with the overall chart for the border <laughs> very well. So there is a bit of counting involved on the each pattern just to work out where that next starting point is. But it is very cool to work on and I'm loving seeing all the letters come together, especially before when you compare before and after all of the back stitching. So one day I will remember to take some photos before I do the back stitching and you'll really see the difference. So the next piece I have that I worked on is Celtic Summer and this got 1374 stitches on it and that is the last you'll probably see of this piece until probably the end of the year. So you should be seeing where you saw it last time and now we've got yeah, to here. This is where it's up to now. So what I've got to do is she's all finished on the top section of the pattern that I've because I've broken it up into two halves. Uh, the beads still need to come in on this side and the beads need to come in on these two medallions and this medallion needs to be finished. So I also have not done the beads in her hair and I think there's a few in her dress that need to be done and I haven't done the back stitching of her face yet either. But she's coming along lovely and I can't wait to get some more work on her in around about December. So given that we're in March, I will be starting the Autumn Celtic Lady in around the 20th of the month. So that is going to be very exciting and it will be interesting just seeing how the colours and everything will mesh up. I might show them side by side just to see how they look next to each other. And I have two more pieces that I've worked on. So we'll start with Planets Align 6 by Pain Free Crafts. And this is under the Common Creative License. Oh, the thread got caught in my zipper of my bag. All right. So. You should have, we should have seen it last time. It's already, should be up on the screen. And now here is where I'm up to. So this had 1,828 stitches. And you'll see I've been working along this, these pages. And I am nearly at the end of these pages. But the thing is, these pages were at that point. I needed to be finished for February so I'm a bit behind where I should be to get this finished by the end of the year so uh, once I finish the Dragon Race into the Night for which or well, that page on it which will be the goal to get done before my next whip update this will become a bit of a Saturday focus for two or three weeks while I get all caught up and everything like that and then I will work out what's going to be the next focus piece. The last piece I have to show you, again, is one that has not 
been seen in a while and that is Blackbeard and this is a pain free crafts pattern which is based on the artwork by Adrian Chesterman and this one has kind of fallen a bit by the wayside it's kind of been left all alone and hasn't had really any work on it. I'm not sure why, but I think it's because there is a lot of blues in it. And I've got a lot of pieces at this moment in time that I've been working on the blues. So you think Archer and pretty much every piece I've got has got heaps of blue in it. So it kind of hasn't had the time it should have had. But you should be seeing where you saw it last time. And I have done 1,216 stitches on it. So, you can see I just started this page here. And, yeah, it's coming along nicely. I love how it looks when I pulled out. I just don't know why I haven't pulled it out. So, it is a pretty big piece. And I have not touched the pirate anymore, but... I was just working up in the sky and the sky is so pretty all the clouds I don't know how that they've done it but they look amazing it looks like a real sky <laughs> so you can see this piece is quite big so <laughs> there's still a lot to go but these things take time and I think it'll get some more work after I get some more progress on some of these older pieces. Especially when I get the Twisted Rainbow finished by Northern Expressions, which should, I need to get done. <laughs> but another little surprise kind of thing that I've been thinking about for the last month or so is a little should we call it game I like to think of it as a game so what I've got is I've got a chart that is my plan to start for the 1st of April this year and I thought I would do it as a bit of a mystery so it has got 78 pages and over the next two weeks until my next video, if anyone who has a, shall we say, a preference for what page I start on, make your vote in the comments below. So between one and 78, numerical values are pre preferred, please. Make your vote and I will start on the page that gets the most votes. So this plays into my plans for this because I'm doing it as a mystery. None of you will know what it is or who it's charted by. So I'm going to call it my mystery piece whenever you see it <laughs> up until the point that someone in, a com in the comments guesses what the piece is so the first person who makes that guess will win a chart from a digital chart from either heaven and earth designs pain free crafts or tilton crafts that a chart of their choice that i will rack to them so that won't open up that little shall we say game part of it won't open up until we actually start i start stitching it and you see some progress so depending on what page gets vote, voted on to start with it could be quite interesting <laughs> so once i get started and finish that page every other page from then on will be able to be voted on after i get close to that point but there is a caveat in that the pages 
after this first page is chosen will have to be connected to the previous page. I don't want to risk having any miscounting issues later on. So I figured we'd limit it to those connected pages and maybe it will give a bit more insight into what the actual piece is. So I'm very excited, but as I said before, make your choice of what page I should be starting on between 1 and 78 and the voting will close once I upload my next whip update in two weeks time from now. So today here in New Zealand, it is the 4th of March. So for many in the world, it is still the 3rd. So two weeks from now, maybe a little bit earlier in the day, have made your selection, make your vote, and I will tally it up from then and make probably make a little post or a video saying what page is going to be started with once I collate all the numbers and we'll go from there. So that will be a start for the 1st of April. I can't wait. It's going to be very exciting and interesting just to see where people want to start. I mean, where you want to start could have a huge impact on whether it's something really obvious of what the piece is or whether it's completely obscure. <laughs> so, make your votes. I can't wait to see what you all choose. And yeah, I hope you have a good couple of weeks and that everything is all going well. And I have got Luna. She's trying. Can you? No? She was sitting with me when I was collating all my stitches. Come here. Come here. Hello. Come here. So, you get to see her live on camera. Since she jumped up right beside me. Well, kind of. So, this is Luna. And yeah, she was sitting with me purring her heart out when I was collating all my stitches for these pieces over the last couple of weeks. And then I started pulling the pieces out to get ready to video and <laughs> she left to go look out one of the windows. There are a lot of cats in my neighborhood and she loves looking out the window at them and pouring at the window and everything because she's an indoor cat. It's the thought of going and seeing these cats. They love looking at her through the window. And she's very excited and interested in watching them. But yeah, I mean, it was funny last week when I have a shed at the back of my property and it <laughs> there was a cat on the roof and it just jumped down and I was going, where did it come from? It took me quite a while to realize that it had been on the um, roof. Anyway, so I hope you all have a good couple of weeks and I will probably have another little video next week. I'm not quite sure what it will be as yet, but have fun, happy stitching and Luna and I will say goodbye.